A voice that became a mainstay on the airwaves in Hampton Roads has been silenced. I'm Blaine Stewart. According to a social media post from a family member, longtime radio personality Joe Hopple has died. We were the very first full-time country music station. We were the first radio station to program country music. What a voice he had, too. That was Hopple back in 1994, being interviewed for a story by WTKR mainstay anchor Ed Hughes. Hopple began his broadcasting career at the age of 15 in his native Pennsylvania. He moved to Hampton Roads and would soon begin a decades-long stint at the former WCMS, one of the first country music formatted stations in the nation in 1955 much of that time hosting the morning drive show. He retired from the station in 2003. Hopper was also inducted into the country music DJ Hall of Fame during his career, receiving a number of awards, including being named Country Music Association Music Director of the Year. Joe Hopple was legendary in this business. There's so many people who knew him. I caught up with Jimmy Ray Dunn, longtime personality on country station 97.3 The Eagle, to reflect on his legacy. Joe made an impact on everybody who listened to him, everybody he met. Um, he used to DJ at the car shows. He was never uh, too big for his britches. Um, he always saw good in people first. And so he's going to be missed. He's just uh, he's one of those guys that truly does deserve the title legend. According to his family, Joe Hopple died Tuesday, the day after Christmas. He was 89 years old. I'm Blaine Stewart, News 3.